Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Continue to pray for my health. Um, I still haven't been sleeping well. I only got maybe four hours of sleep last night. Um, pray for our finances. My friend Bobby's health. She's really hurting her back. It's really bothering her. Um, Roe by poverty. My friend DePolly for them to be able to get land for church and home. And... Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> Someone named Jennifer, I'm not sure what the situation is, but pray for her. Um, if you have prayer, please let me know. Letting go and trusting God, 180 devotions for life's tough decisions by Pamela L. McQuaid. One day at a time. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's troubles and not today. Matthew 6, 34. Really good decisions are never made out of worry because when intense concern for what lies ahead clouds our minds, we're likely to have short-term vision. We're myopic when we make a choice based on only immediate needs. And in an insecure world, it's hard to look up and see hope. As we try to patch together a more perfect life, we're usually blind to the good things that could lie ahead. But God has the long-term version we vision we need, for he knows our future and his plans for it. While we envision a straight path that goes over few hills, he may have mountains for us to climb. But if we knew those mountains lay ahead, how discouraged we would become so he doesn't let us see them ahead of time. God knows our frailty and our tendency to worry, and he knows we can't improve anything with our concern. So instead, he encourages us to keep our eyes focused on what we can do Live in the state to the fullest in obedience to him. You won't be able to change troubles that lie ahead, so do what you can to plan for the immediate future and leave it to God to plan the years that lie ahead. Live well one day at a time, and your future will end up being bright too. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Monday. I hope you had a great Easter. God bless.